Red Racing Advertising. Hi gang, John here from Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today, um, actually I just grabbed the camera on a whim. We're working on a, on a 550SX and um, we learn new things here in the shop every every single day. Uh, I've been doing this for over 35 years, and I tell everybody every every day we're always learning new things. Um, recently, we had a, a where we know of a super jet um, where the cooling line from the jet pump to the engine compartment, the the line coming through the hull, actually deteriorated and and soaked the foam. It's not uncommon. And I tell you anymore, and I'm I'm going to make a rule here at the shop. Any of these old skis that we're working on and building and whatever for customers, I'm going to pressure test and check that cooling line. Um, you just don't know what's going on. And I thought on a whim, we're we're doing one here today on an old 550SX, and I kind of thought on a whim that I would just grab the camera and show you guys what we're doing, and maybe. Um, somebody can learn something from this and, and save your hull. So, um, with that, what we have here is, uh, gosh, Owen, I don't even know. This is a 1991 Kawasaki 550SX um, that we're going to build for a customer. It just came in, and I'm taking it apart, and we're going to pretty much do a whole restoration. We will have a video on this thing later, um, so look for updates on that. But today we're going to talk about the cooling line. So, oh, if you want to come down here... And, and we, you guys can see we've got the cooling lines and um, uh, the cooling line and the Venturi uh, siphon bilge line both blocked off underneath here. I just put caps on them and um, put clamps on them. And we're going to pressurize it and just see what we get. Um, so I've got, uh, this is my, my snap-on pumper-upper. Uh, you can use anything. You could adapt a bicycle pump. You could use uh, your um, Mikuni pop-off pressure gauge pump. Anything to be able to pressurize this line. So this line going through the hull here is aluminum, and it can and will deteriorate on an older ski. So let's just give this a couple of pumps. I don't know if I'm holding that right, Owen, if you can see that. I'm going to just... Oh, and that's a lot. We're up to almost 10 pounds. And as you can see on the gauge, it's holding. So that tells me that this line passing through the hull is in good shape. Um, anymore, I'm just concerned that as these skis get older, we don't know the history of this. I don't know if it's ever been in saltwater. You saltwater guys out there, I'm sure, are aware of this. Um, but we've had some freshwater skis here where we have found that that cooling line does not, um, it's not good. And um, before I go on with anything else, we just want to make sure it's okay. So I hope you found that informative. Like I say, it was just kind of a little quick video on a whim today. Um, please be sure you like, tag, share, and follow. Tell all your friends. Check out our website, www.watcon.com. We've got merch. We've got used parts. We've got new parts. We've got everything. And as always, if, if you don't see what you need, please feel free to reach out. All of our contact information is there at the site. Hopefully this helps you fix your machine and you can get back out in the water. As always, be nice to each other. And next time, we'll see you guys out in the water.